So before I begin the session, I'd like to thank the organizers, especially Naresh. He has been really, very helpful, and uh, he has arranged a wonderful uh, event. And I hope we all are learning a lot, and especially the people sitting here, as well as the presenters, are learning a lot from you all. And so I hope that during my presentation, I'll also be learning a lot from you all. And hopefully, you will also get to learn something from me. So uh, let's start with some information about me. I am Muhammad Aman Khan. I work as a front-end developer in Applied Research Works. It is basically a health-related company. It uh, does uh, stores information related to patients and doctors and the performance of different doctors, helps the payers, the insurance companies with the information, and uh, it helps the doctors to find out information about the patients to take care of them. And it also does, does a lot of visualizations of those informations. So basically, before we were started using D3, we were doing visualizations using high charts and uh, tabu. We were experimenting with uh, Google charts and high stocks also. We were not working uh, till before six months with D3. We had no information what D3 is or how powerful it is. But then I was asked to do some information, some experimentation uh, regarding the other libraries that are present which can do wonderful visualizations. So before we go into that, we'll have to understand what big data actually is and what, why visualization is that important and how visualization can actually help us or in some places, in some scenarios, actually harm us. So we are basically living in a scenario where we have too much information given to us. But this too much information, the word too much is something which is relative. Till a few days back, information that was actually not that much that we have right now seemed to be too much to us. But right now, we have uh, uh, the processors have become very much powerful. We have more storage spaces, and we have much more processing speed. The internet speed is uh, getting better, especially in India. And so the information which was actually too much uh, a few years before is not actually that much right now. So during this presentation, I'll be going, touching aspects about big data, what actually it means, and what are the different categories of big data that we have right now. We'll also be focusing on the different types of visualizations that are there. We'll try to figure out the different characteristics that are present in the different data by which we can identify which particular type of visualization we should, we should use for that particular data. We'll be covering the different types of visualizations that are there and especially that can be used uh, to visualize uh, using D3. And then we'll be uh, trying to learn about the different phases that D3 itself provides us. The kind of uh, data binding it actually does to the DOM element.